Hi everyone. Mo is going to show us how easy it is to set up SSO and WebEx Control Hub. Take it away, Mo. To set up single sign-on comes with organizational settings. Uh, in organizational settings, scroll down to the authentication. By default, the single sign-on is turned off. You will be logging in with a local uh, username and password that is set up in WebEx Control Hub. To change that, you can click on Modify. You can see that it's set to the built-in identity service. Currently, you can choose Integrate a Third-Party Identity Provider. Uh, for a third-party identity provider, I'm going to use Okta today. Click Next. Here, you can download the metadata file. And this is a file uh, that you're going to use the information from the file to set up the single sign-on. Click download the file. When you open the file, there are two important sections in this file. First, the entity ID. Uh, you need to use this URL in the entity ID. Also, in the single sign-on service, you are going to use the URL. So keep a record of those URLs. Now, going to Okta, you're going to go to your applications. You're going to search for Cisco WebEx. Uh, as you can see, I already added WebEx here. Uh, once you added WebEx, you can come here. You can go to the settings. Uh, make sure to create an assignment. Um, First of all, you want to assign this to all your users or any users that need to log into the WebEx Control Hub. Come to Single Sign-On page, click Edit, and make sure to enter that Identity ID and Assertion Consumer Service URL from the metadata file. After that, make sure the URID SAML attribute is set to email and application username format is Okta username. Now you need to use the identity provider metadata from Okta. When you click on it, it will open up in an XML format. You will need to save this file. So you go to File, uh, you go to Save Page As, and make sure this is saved in XML format. And once the file is saved, I already have it saved on my computer. You go back to the WebEx Control Hub. You click Next. You make sure to choose Allow Self Sign Certificate in Metadata. Then browse to the file. I have the file here. you should be able to see that it successfully imported the IDP metadata file. You click Next, and it asks you to test an SSO connection. Once you click, it will automatically uh, launch into Okta and uses this SAML insertion to log into the Cisco WebEx Control Hub. So that is done. Click Test was successful, and it automatically turns on the single sign-up. Let's go check the setting for single sign-on. And as you can see, the single sign-on is enabled. To test this, I'm going to log out and log back in with my Okta username and password. Once I click sign on, as you can see, it is going to take me to Okta. I'm already logged into Okta, so it is going to automatically log me to the WebEx Control Hub. Another important setting to turn on here is the calendar service. I'm going to walk through the calendar uh, integration with Office 365. To do that, click on Hybrid. 
here you have the option to turn on the calendar sync between Exchange, Office 365, Google. Uh, for the sake of this demo, we're going to go to we are going to uh, set up the Office 365, which is one of the uh, um, widely used, most known services by our customers. Click on Setup. Uh, there's only two options here. Uh, you have to choose worldwide, except for Germany. Click choose worldwide and click authorize. All it is going to do is going to ask you to log into your Office 365 instance. As you can see, I'm already logged in. It is going to um, prompt you with the access in needs to the Office 365. Please keep in mind that Office 365 does not have a service account. And that means you are not going to have continuous or Rivex is not going to have continuous access or uh, privilege into uh, accessing information into Office 365. This is basically one setup and done. We are not going to remember the uh, username or password for the account that is being used. It's very important that account that is used to do this um, setup it has administrative access to Office 365. Make sure that um, the account does have that access. So once you're prompted with the access that it requires, click Accept. One more step, you can set up a test account to see if the calendar service works. I'm going to use Bob. Click Test. And as you can see, the setup is complete. It tested that account sync and, uh, and the calendar is working. As you can see here, it shows how many users are enabled, how many users are synced between, the calendars are being synced between uh, Office 365 and WebEx Control Hub.